Well, look, we've been talking here, haven't we, about debt ceilings in America. The one person in the Albanese government with a genuine concern about debt ceilings is the Minister for Government Services and the Minister for the National Disability Insurance Scheme, Bill Shorten. Since I'll speak to him shortly, I have to be honest, and I have warned him about this anyway, and repeat what I've said many times before on this program. Albo is Prime Minister because Bill Shorten isn't. And Bill Shorten isn't because he had a shadow treasurer, Chris Bowen, who took a divisive and punitive tax policy to a federal election and then told the voters that if they didn't like it, don't vote for us. Scott Morrison fell over the finishing line, as you know, in what even Morrison described as a miracle victory. Now, the same Bowen is presiding over another policy disaster, pretending we can get to 43% carbon dioxide emission reductions by 2030 by, amongst other things, sticking up 22,000 500 watt solar panels every day, this is what he said, for eight years, 47 megawatt wind turbines every month for seven years, and tens of thousands of kilometres of additional transmission lines. What do they say? A penny for your thoughts. I won't ask Mr Shorten what he makes of that. But in my view, Bill Shorten has arguably the most difficult job in government. What should be potentially rewarding to those in need, those with a disability, has now turned into a financial nightmare. Within four years, the figures are staggering, the NDIS will be costing the taxpayer over $51 billion, 51,000 million, if you can believe the budget. And by comparison, the costs, for example, of Medicare will be 35 billion, uh, 35 billion. that's about 25, 26, and aged care, say, 24.7. Or put another way, the Albanese government has indicated its commitment to $166 billion over the next four years. That's more than $8.8 billion than was anticipated in the last coalition budget. This is a monumental ministerial challenge, but if anyone can get on top of it, it is Bill Shorten. He's been a minister in the Rudd-Gillard years, an assistant treasurer, a minister for financial services and superannuation, minister for workplace relations, and indeed a minister for education. And he did win the leadership of the Labor Party in 2013, beating Anthony Albanese. He joins me, Bill Shorten, thank you for your time. Just a simple question, I suppose, how do you get on top of this spiralling cost? Well, thank you very much for your introduction about me and we'll just agree to disagree about Chris and climate change, but let's go to the NDIS. The NDIS is here to stay. I think that if we ask of every decision we make in terms of its administration, what's in the best interests of the participants, then I think we can um, reduce the rate of cost growth. I think we can get better outcomes for participants. It's all about making sure that every dollar gets through to the people for whom the scheme was originally designed. Uh, that is the sweet spot of reform, not dumping a whole lot of change on people with profound disabilities, but working with them. People with profound disabilities in their families and the people who love them, they don't want to see money wasted. They don't want to be treated as human ATMs. They don't want to be treated as um, an easy mark for people to gouge prices off. So I'm confident we can get there by making sure that every decision's about the best interest of the participant, and passing that test is every dollar getting to the people for whom the scheme was originally designed. 